Hello everybody and welcome back to Crappy Design. We begin with number 19, train wreck of a logo. Dinnerite seating. Oh, dine right seating. Dinnerite sounded like a, a mineral. Like, hey Marie, would you like to look at my new dinnerite? Oh yeah, Hank, that's a really cool rock. Anyway, maybe their product speaks for itself and they don't need to have a great logo because it's all word of mouth and they execute really well. They have great commercial furniture and upholstery and it gets the job done. And in fact, they have too many clients. They need to make it so it seems like people aren't gonna wanna use it because they have a bad logo. Don't know where to start with this. So Huh? Fuck. So, this may be one of the first times I've actually been at a loss. Usually I'm able to figure out what it's trying to say eventually, but I don't, I, I don't think I know. If I stare at it long enough, I might be able to put it together. Someone much smarter than me is looking at this right now and has probably figured out what's going on here, but I still haven't arrived at the conclusion. And I, I don't actually, I have no idea what the letters or the colors have anything to do with whatever yoga poses are happening. And I, I thought about yoga being a thing here, but then I couldn't think of any other things like what, what other Pilates, yoga. No, I don't, Ho hotel, there's no E anywhere though, so. No, I'm, I don't know where to start with it either. A new housing development in South Shields, England. The entrance to the front door has been built around an existing lamppost. <laughs> it's very convenient when you have to move large objects of furniture in and out of the apartment. You um, actually have a, an area that is narrower than the entry door that you first have to get through before you get to deal with the challenge of the entry door. So by the time you get to the entry door, you've actually already been through the hardest part. Really, they're just trying to like get you uh, in the mood in advance for moving the large couches in. Although I suppose you could, if you want to just lift it over the little brick wall there as well. And then you can just deal with the, the front door, but then you're coming at kind of an angle and you can't fully straighten out the big couch because it's going to hit the, the lamp post. You kind of have to approach in the small gap <laughs> or maybe use a crane. That's an option too. This 9-11 tribute in Boston St. Patrick's Day Parade had a panel that said never much further back between other graphics. Forget. Where is the, oh, it's like when you say much further back, you mean towards the rear of the truck. I thought I was supposed to see it like ghosted somewhere in, in the background. Yeah, for, a, for a, a phrase that's like very important for the words to be together. You would usually want to put those on the same panel rather than spacing them apart. And yes, this photo could have been taken at like an inopportune angle or cropped improperly where like it would, it's right over there. But at the same time, you should consider that photos might be taken that are cropped improperly and you'd want to try to minimize the risk of that sort of thing happening. Also, I've just realized, is this fire truck actually being towed? That's a really big, to I mean, well, it's probably a flatbed truck, but Man, didn't think about like, what do you tow a fire truck with if the fire truck breaks down? I guess just a large flatbed truck. They tow space shuttles, so they can probably tow fire trucks to be fair. I taught the store sold, oh, I thought the store sold mom style clothing. I'm like, what are we, what are we saying? What are we saying here? Mom, your style. Ma Is it saying like mom isn't your style? Oh, maybe it's saying moment, your style, which also doesn't make a great deal of sense. What does that mean? Moment, your style, How, moment and style. They don't seem to be like things that, that go, you can have a moment where you like see someone and their style, but we're missing words unless it is mom style. Oh, it should just be mom style, but it's not mom style. It's, it's mom, mom in it, mom in it, your style. That's what it is, clearly. Although that doesn't really look like mom clothing. 
but they do have good deals going on here, which is really cool. So good sale. How close this toilet? Oh, I want a stroke. <laughs> How close? Uh, the last title just messed me up, okay? How close this toilet is to the stall door. Had a good laugh at how my feet poke out underneath. All right, that's uh, I'm hoping the door opens outward because I'll tell you, man, this is one of my like peeves about airports, LAX specifically. The stall doors open inward, which I get it, you know, they get busy and they don't want you punching the stall door out and smacking someone in the face. I get it, understandable. However, they then make it so that the door has about this much clearance between it and the toilet. So you're trying to get your suitcase in there so that you don't get, you know, the airport police going unattended bag and they tackle you and you get arrested. It's like, no, you see, you have to bring it into the stall and you're like bringing the bag, like crawling over the bag into the, oh, feet, uh, into the stall and then, and then freaking you gotta sit down and you're like, God damn it, it already sucks that I'm doing a poo at an airport. And you have to navigate that whole thing. Sometimes just straddle your bag right in front of your feet. Anyway, I hope the door opened outward is what I'm trying to say because man, it can be really inconvenient. And then you go to other airports, your destination, and you get off the airport and you do your pee, airplane and do your pee, I mean. And it is like miles of room between the door that opens inward and the toilet, and there are no gaps in the stall doors. And you're like, was it that hard, LAX? Was it really that hard? <sighs> Man, anyway, good thing you didn't have a suitcase. The door card in an Alfa Romeo Giulietta has sandpaper texture, painful to lean against for any period of time. <laughs> well, you know, what happened here is that they designed the door latches. They didn't really secure super well, and any any leaning on them really ran the risk of just the door popping open, right, in the middle of driving, which isn't a good thing. So they decided, rather than re-engineer the door latch, just make it uncomfortable, make it so you don't want to lean against the door, and then that way we don't have to, that's a way cheaper way to solve it than redesigning a whole part. Just not, anyway, by the way, this is not, this was a, you, you guys, you know, I'm a car enthusiast, so maybe you're taking me seriously. That was a made up story, but just so Alpha Romeo doesn't get mad at me and is like, he's spreading false news propaganda. That was, but anyway, or maybe not. A new logo of tourism and nature from Castile and Leon. <laughs> Turismo de naturaleza. I apologize for my pronunciation there. It's not good, but neither is this design. This was someone was like, I'm really busy. I am going to give my work assignment to my eight year old child who just learned how to use clip art in Microsoft Word. Would you mind making a postcard with word art that says these words, child? It will be your chores for the week. Cool, please go forth and do design. And then the child will be able to put on their resume that when they were eight years old, they designed the National Tourism Board logo, which looks very impressive on a resume. To be fair, they'll be very overqualified for, you know, working at fast food in high school. Those white lights on that 98 to 05 Lexus GS are actually brake lights, and what was a red film has faded to white from the sun. Oh, it looks like reverse lights. That's a good way to get really scared <laughs> really quickly when you're at a stoplight and you're approaching this car and you're like, oh God, oh God, oh God, is he about to reverse into me? You're like panicking, you're like, wait, he's not moving, but is he gonna move? Is he gonna, oh God, as soon as, as soon as the light turns green, is he about to floor it into and reverse into, anyway. I would be very nervous because you're stopped. You're like, I can't change lanes right now. Do I honk at them? Do I tell them they're in reverse? Wait, they're going forward. Okay. Huh. Whew. Thank goodness. I'm going to not be behind them anymore. <laughs> Emergency evacuation plan on a clear plastic with dark wall. Yeah, not, not perhaps the best 
thing to have done there. This could be fixed pretty easily by just sliding a white piece of paper behind it and then you'd be able to read everything pretty well. But that's, um, yeah, you're, you're in the midst of smoke is filling the air. It's getting darker and darker. You're holding your breath, trying to read where you're supposed to go. Your eyes are burning and you can't see it because, because of that. I'm sure there is a very specifically written code language in, in like city building code that you have to have this on contrasting background, like either black lines and text on a white background or vice versa. And uh, this wasn't done. This menu is not really worn out. It's purposely like this. I guess, you know, if we just start with the menus looking in awful shape, then we'll never actually have to reprint the menus because how much worse could they possibly get over time? So this, it, it adds to the longevity when it, when they started off this way. How did you know that these are new menus though? Do you work, maybe you work at the restaurant. You just, it was like, all right guys, we gotta, we updated some menu items here. We're distributing the new, new menus. And, um, oh my God, dude, speaking of menus, okay. Went to, went to dinner, Kara um, suggested, so there was a, a drink on the menu that they called apple of my eye, but they use rye in the drink. And she was like, oh, you guys should call it apple of my rye. Well, it was actually like the owner is, is he's like, you know, doing, doing tables and stuff like that. And he's like, that's a pretty good idea. Went back again. They changed all the menus and, and the drink name is updated. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The menus don't look like that though. They, they look like normal menus. But anyway, I just, the menu thing got me thinking about that. London, England with its famous yellow taxis. Um, hmm. Is this like an advertisement for London tourism or just, you know, someone's random graphic that they, put together is it also like showing it's showing is that london bridge that it's showing i admittedly am very uncultured and so um if you show me like tower bridge versus london bridge i might be like oh i don't know but anyway obviously london bridge is in arizona i think um so is this actually like <laughs> just a hodgepodge you got some arizona in there you got some new york a yellow taxi cabs and then uh you've got big ben or something like that, maybe. I don't. Know, I don't travel very much, so you'll have to forgive me on my misremembrances and information there. These socks have the logo on the sole of your foot, so that you feel it with every step. That would actually bother me a lot. I don't. Hmm. That's not a. Yeah. You'd think Adidas would. Uh. I don't know company with pretty pretty long history of manufacturing athletic wear that that they wouldn't do that maybe they don't sell these socks anymore maybe they realized afterwards mm, this isn't very comfortable it feels like there's stuff in the sock but we did it and you can't get rid of it my maze has no way out of the center is it like um the thing from westworld the maze i never i don't, I don't remember what the frick was going on with that whole deal Anyway, Westworld. What a, what a strange show. Regardless, it's more Spider-Man looking here. Let's see. So it's it just this is an impressively bad design. Like like you had one job. You can't even you can't go anywhere. This is just immediately completely blocked off. It's not even something that could be used as a metaphor for how life can work and not be fair. And you know you get you keep, you go far enough and you're like wait a minute am I am I not Wait, is there no way? There's, surely there's a, I can't figure out the way. You're kind of like gaslighting yourself into thinking you just can't figure it out. Like we've seen in a previous crappy design with another maze. This is just, they didn't even try. <laughs> Where was quality control on this one? Power board to fit in the corner, except the cable comes out of the corner. Yeah, that fits, fits on mildly infuriating, that's for sure actually just impressively bad how do you do that how do you 
make it so that the thing that's supposed to just gracefully slide into the corner and fit there, it, it literally can't do the thing that it is designed to do. I'm upset. Just looking at this, I am very mad. I also feel like I've seen that logo before. Like that's a pretty commonly purchased brand. But why? How do you not think about that? How do you not like, have it come out of there? But then it would obstruct the logo. Have it come out of the side. I don't know. You have options. So many other, like anywhere not on the back, anywhere just not on the back part would have worked fine. Now it's just a boomerang with a tether so you can practice boomeranging. Death stare gap. This kills the child. <laughs> Oh my God, that's like horrifying actually, bro. You know, the house I live in now, it, it, it is not multi-story, but I used to live in a house with three stories and you know, a handful of times you embarrassingly kind of trip or something on the stair. Yeah, I don't know if I would have actually gone through ever, but that doesn't seem good. That would really, ooh, that would mess you up real badly. These stairs where you have to hug the wall or sprain your ankle. What they decided to do here is make it hard for everybody. They were like, okay, we got to do both stairs and we got to be ADA compliant. Let's make it the worst for each, each of them. Let's make it so the ramp is utterly, incredibly inconvenient. And you have to, you have to pivot very sharply on what is still a slight incline or you have to go up really uneven stairs slash jumping from ramp to ramp or just go up the very, very edge. And there's no handrail. You just kind of lean, lean against the wall. Uh, huh. A lot, of, a lot of things went wrong there. The design layout for this New York City apartment, it rents for 3,500 a month. Okay. We're in Soho checking out what I think is the worst design layout I've ever seen in an apartment. What I'm gonna show you guys is so absurd. It might leave you some type of speech. Okay, for how do you get access to it? Like, did the person who rents the place say, yeah, you can see it? Or did you just like, a realtor is really happy to get a little commission on renting this thing. And you just, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go in and film a TikTok about how bad it is. And then they find it after they're like, God damn it. I don't know, bathroom. Yeah, that is, that looks dangerous for your feet in there. Like, <laughs> is there, is there just like stuff on the ground? I can't tell if, you know, it's just tile that's been partially painted over, if there's actually like problems on the ground there for your feet. <laughs> it's the toilet, yeah. Do you brush your teeth in the, uh, the kitchen sink. This is genuinely 3,500 a month. Okay. Would it actually get that? Or is this one of those like, you know, they don't actually expect that, but by pricing it high, they can like have someone will feel like they got a good deal if they go for a thousand dollars less. It's not as small as my college dorm room, but that's also not saying much, but it does have a, I mean the bathroom, the shower and the toilet are inside versus communal, which is an improvement, but it's also like the wood, but it's, it's like rotting on the side and the freaking ew. I did not like the look of that, bro. That just looks like there's a lot of places water can get into, and water, as you know, is my nemesis. <laughs> and the nemesis of human structural buildings. Thank you, oh man, that's not the last post. God dang it, I got kind of sucked into that one. Not sure if it's breaking or not. Which which kind of breaking? Like, like breaking down or pressing the brake pedal? I think we're referring to the brake pedal here, but really? Are there actually more lights on when it's... This is a night though. This isn't directly comparable. Is it? Really? I like, hmm. Cause this is a night. This, I don't know if we have lights on here. 
because obviously it's going to be more illuminated when your headlights are on. It is weird, I suppose, to have more light bar happening when it's just headlights on, but I'm, I, I doubt that this is, you know, it goes from this to that. I don't know for sure if it does go from this to that, that's, or I should say from, from the bottom to the top, that would be bad. But I also feel like there might be more to it than that. Like it might just be that this is night, headlights are on, when the car is braking, these, you know, five lights will illuminate more. And then during the daytime, I don't know. But that's what I want to believe. But I don't know. I don't, God, I'm just, I'm hoping that this is not accurate. I really am. I interrupt myself because I went and watched a video and yeah, it turns out the headlights could have been on in the top photo. This is how the braking works with the Cybertruck. You, you get less lights when you're braking. Okay. Huh. All right. But I don't, anyway. Thank you all for watching the last month of Crappy Design. Make sure to like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.